Alright, I'm here I'm going to uh, fish this spot. This was the born on the 4th of July spot. I have two lively legs on. I have a lively leg, pink legs. And I have a lively leg caddis grub. And the caddis grub is when you cut off one of these sets of legs, like this one has two, and that's the, that's the spare piece. Of course, it's not pink. Put that on for a caddis. There's a gimme caddis. I'm gonna go ahead and put an indicator on this. I only use the pinch on indicators. This particular brand here, I don't like as much. It's kind of stiff, but I'm going to use it. This has a piece of paper or something stuck to it that has the color on it. I prefer them with just the foam itself. Then you could cut them cut them in half and use only a half. But since this is what I got, what I'm going to use. And the only other problem with the pinch on ones is it always seems like the white part is facing you and the colored part is away. So what you can do to cure that is when you get them, just take a Sharpie marker of whatever color you want and you know color the the edges of them and that'll cure that problem. I'm gonna try the, the back of this hole first. I know there's smaller ones back here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move up. Here's my eight and a half foot uh, Unity rod from Hook and Hackle. Eight and a half foot, four piece, four weight. The rain shadow, very nice rod. Works very well for nymphs and for dry flies. on this. Look at the spots on the belly. I haven't seen that. Very nice rainbow. And definitely a holdover. That's definitely a holdover fish. And away he goes. Another, oh I lost him. That was a good one. Huh, he took my fly. That was the, uh, that was the caddis larva. All right, I tied on a new fly. Oh, I still have that pink 
leg, uh, lively leg. But on the bottom, I put a Hemingway Mayfly. We'll see what this comes up with. I think either one said before they're both they're both good fishing good fishing flies, both products. that last fly I put on a lightly leg hair's ear prince this is a very good fly if you haven't tied any tie these up been doing very well throughout the summer with that fly right there Okay, I'm tying another fly on. I put on a lightly legs prince and the moose mane bead head soft tackle. Oh, 
him, but he's nice. Got him back here. He looks to be around 15 or so. That's what I'm really paying a lot right here. He does brown job up to dig down. Beautiful wild brownie. It's not a yellow belly. Beautiful fish. He's a solid 14 inches. Get him back quick. Away he goes. Nice wild brown. And he took the moose pain again. Oh, that moose pain is pretty good. Probably because it has the segmentations on it.
Yeah. Yeah, they like going under that pipe. All right, last fish took everything. So I put on another, it is a synthetic quill uh, nymph. And I have a, up here, a caddis larva. And I put on a, another sinker, I'm gonna put them back in there. Risers out there. And I had to tie on a new fly, so what I put on was a GSS soft tackle with a regular bead, just a regular brass bead on there, not a tungsten one, just to keep it higher in the water. I'm gonna give that a few casts out there. The fish was obviously chasing something to the surface. Probably a small fish, but fish is a fish. There he is. There he is. Nice little brownie. Nice little wild brown trout. You better get out of there before he gets eaten. And a nice five inch wild brown trout right there. Took that nice little GSS wet fly with the bead on it. And away he goes. I put manners on the little ones so they don't get caught too quick. Make them a little harder to catch. He took that so quick, I'm gonna fish this by itself a little bit. Not going down very deep. Oh, one just came up and took my strike indicator. That was a good fish. That was at least a 12 inch or there. Took my strike indicator. There's more fish at the head there. There, there we go. Probably the one that went for the strike indicator. Got that GSS wet line. And it's the rainbow. This is the dish, this year's stock fish. Not, he's colorful, but he's not super colorful. Beautiful though. Still beautiful. The only thing is, I wish they'd reproduce. I'd love to have wild rainbows in here. Whoop! And away she goes. They don't reproduce. Rainbows don't reproduce too much in Pennsylvania. There is there is a lot of wild rainbows in Pennsylvania, but these fish that the Fish Commission puts in, 
can't reproduce because they put in 95% of them are females. And the purpose of that is the males fight too much in the hatcheries. Too much mortality. I'm going to go ahead and put a heavier one on with this. Get it down a little bit. Oh, there's a fish. Just as I was picking it up. This is a good one. Going to the pipe. Oh, going for a pipe. Got good Portland uh, leader on there, tip it on there. Yeah, this is a good fish. Right down there, look at this, he's going for a pipe. Give him brownie. The SS wet fly. female here. The way she goes. I'm going to go ahead and put a heavier weight, a heavier fly on now. Another fish. Woo! Right on the pickup again. Another brownie diving. It's a decent fish. I haven't seen the whole thing yet. I think there's flashes of them. Best one yet. Get them away from them lot. There's a lot there too, right? The pipe. Get right on top of the ledge that time. This is a nice one. Biggest one of the day. This one's probably a 20. This one's probably a 20 inch. Whew. Yeah, he's close to 20, that one. Tip my finger to my elbow. He's 19 to 20 inches. Beautiful. There's a male. That was the uh, Beadhead GSS soft tackle. If you haven't tied with it, you should get yourself GSS. Backcartside.com. Get one package of the all of it, it'll last you your whole life. Even if you give some away.
Okay, here I am back in town. I've never been fishing. They're going to be hearing cars going by all the time. But got a beautiful, beautiful willow tree here. Look at that, 80. Lots of shade. All right, I'm going to call it a day. I didn't get anything at this spot right in town. But I had a pretty darn good day up above where the water was much colder. And thank you for coming along. Be sure to visit my sponsors. And always get out there and have yourself a great time. And thank you very much for watching my videos.